Pod 6, a week of severe weather across Texas. The basin seeing its own set of conditions. Tornadoes, high winds, and flooding in the streets. Now the city of Midland has issued a disaster declaration as people clean up. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Madeline Bierster. And I'm Mike Mahoney. And today, both the city and county of Midland issued a disaster declaration as a result of last week's severe weather. And ABC Big 2's Jesse Zaragoza spoke with officials and a local business to learn more. Tuesday morning, it was announced that the city and county of Midland is under disaster declaration. This comes as many businesses and other properties suffered severe damage as a result of last week's storm. Officials are asking residents to fill out damage assessments. That way they can receive money for repairs. So we have to declare a local disaster at our level. It goes up to the state. The state will declare one, and that goes up to FEMA. The feds will look at that, and if they approve it, then that opens up our residents to individual assistance through, through FEMA, so FEMA funding that they can tap into. The last time that the city and county of Midland issued a disaster declaration was during COVID in 2020, when it was a presidential declared disaster. Bunch tells us in order for the state to get involved, damages need to reach over $780,000 within the county. The state, it's upwards of you know 50 something million. Um, but with this disaster declaration, it's a little different because they're trying to tie this in with the previous one we had that was already a president presidentially declared disaster. So if we can do that, then we're automatically uh, tied into that presidentially declared disaster. And when speaking on damages, one local window repair manager says in his time working in the business, he's never seen a storm like the one that hit last Thursday. This type of devastation hitting this many businesses and homes probably haven't seen this happen in this magnitude um, ever. The damage that I'm seeing on vehicles is mostly on the front windshield, but also lots of damage, hail damage like on the hood and on the top of the vehicles. And some of it's devastating where it's, it looks like the vehicle, a lot of these vehicles may be totaled out just from my experience and seeing this over the years. Again, the city and county are urging residents to fill out those damage assessments individually. Emails have been sent out to residents to help with that process. Reporting in Midland, Jesse Zaragoza, ABC, Big 2 News. The disaster declaration is good for seven days, but once those seven days are up, the court judge will need to sign a new declaration that will be valid for 90 days. And that process goes on from there, and the declaration will need to be renewed once those 90 days are up.